sign deck cover, if you want to call it that, in the back of Squatchy. And uh, we decided to take that out because it wasn't quite as waterproof as what we was wanting. So today we're going to cut some aluminum sheet uh, diamond tread that uh, is pretty thick, but actually it's amazing that you can actually cut it with a skill saw. And uh, we're going to cut it, try to get it fit, and cut it in two pieces and then make a plate and bolt it together in the middle and see how it turns out. Hopefully it's a little more watertight. And, uh, maybe paint it, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but we'll see how it goes. finished up with our rear new rear deck lid we had the uh street sign when we had done and decided we want something a little nicer um so this is the finished product just got it installed um they still we might add some more tie downs or something later on or may have to add some more supports but it's a two-piece it's all aluminum now full cover comes over the side so you got a little more protection when it if it rains or anything, you got to top off, um, and you can't people can't see what you got inside because my stereo. I mean, I got a lock the lock box storage system that we put in it, but uh, I still just wasn't happy with it to see it. And we put it's two pieces. It's got a piece of plate aluminum in the middle that 
catches them so that way the water can't get in there and it gives it some support. Um, we had to make two pieces because you can't get in between the roll bars as big as it is to make it sell off. We took, made little pieces we cut out here to slide around the roll bar. We made pieces, plates and all to be able to screw them back in. Kind of like some of the other deck lids that people's made, uh, companies make, but this is kind of a squatchy off-road design. So uh, we up here, we, I didn't quite have enough aluminum to come all the way front, but my seat set back. And uh, so to be able to see it, we kind of notched out. We made a notch out around where the seats go. Because when you set the seat back and you put pressure on it, they would hit the other and I didn't want it to wear on the seat. So now they're where they won't touch. Um, we added the tie downs, which is just some simple little, they slide and adjustable and you can take them out so they don't rattle when you're using them. This so we can tie stuff down. We got, ended up putting the support with a rubber foot in the middle here and at the front and set them on so they're sitting on my box so it gives it some the support so when you put a cooler because my cooler we usually try to mount it back here at the back so it's easier to get to um not like I say notched out we took angled it around so it kind of fits the side of the jeep and don't catch the top we cut it out and made it where we put our had our factory mounts we're probably gonna change the top eventually but we still i know we're still gonna have mounts back here for that so tailgate shut you got that gap but you got to have the gap for the for the back window for the bar that goes in there so you got to kind of keep that gap for it um but so far so good turned out pretty much like we wanted it um we're gonna get it go to utah with it try it out and probably when we get back if, if we need to make any more upgrades we will and then we're gonna tear it back down and send it to get it powder coated because right now it's just uh your regular some krylon paint but uh until we got it all made sure everything was like we wanted it we didn't want to send it to powder coach yet so and we we're running out of time for utah trip so. <laughs> but uh it's turned out so good we cut it with hole saw here so it's all fits pretty good around the roll bar uh, might add some trim around that eventually when i find some of the thickness i want to neaten it up and tighten it up around the roll bar a little bit but other than that that's it that's our new deck lid for squatchy tj